This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. And I know it's been so long. Like, oh my God. I think this is the longest I've ever kept nails on. Look at this growth. Bruh. But for those who didn't know, I was pregnant, I had a baby last month, and I haven't slept since. Please send help. <laughs> so I did these nails using the Kiera Sky Jelly Tips. I applied them with acrylic and I did that in this video. If you guys didn't check that out, I will make sure to leave that link down below. But yes, I applied these jelly tips with acrylic and as you guys can see, they have not budged at all. <laughs> I am like totally shocked. So if you have problems with the jelly tip staying on with using the gel, I definitely recommend using acrylic to adhere these because they stay on forever. <laughs> So I had to order some nail care products from Amazon. All of my nippers were like done. So these are the toenail nippers that I use to cut down my nails and to remove stones and stuff like that. And so I grabbed a smaller pair as well, along with some nail clippers and stuff. But this is what I'm gonna use to take off my stones. I usually use the large nippers, but for some reason I couldn't really grip these so I used the smaller ones and I was able to get all of the crystals off so this is what it looks like after all of those crystals are off and I'm just gonna take my medium grit safety bit and file down the nail taking down the bulk and just getting ready to do my fill I'm gonna fill these in using acrylic so I'm just getting everything ready for that So then I switched over to the medium grit five in one drill bit and I'm just drilling underneath the nail just to clean that area up and also kind of file away my natural nail. I just want this to look as clean and smooth as possible. So after all of the prep with the nail drill, I'm just gonna take my cuticle pusher and push back my cuticle. And then taking that cuticle clean bit, I'm just gonna work that around my cuticle area because it's been seven, almost eight weeks and these cuticles need some tending too. And then next I'm taking the fine sanding band and I'm just taking the shine away from my natural nail. And I'm also getting rid of any lifting that may have occurred. So this is what the nails look like after all of that. Next, I'm gonna take the Long Hair Pretty Nails nail file and I just love these. They are so cute. The pink is everything. These are 100 slash 180 grit and I'm just gonna take the 180 grit side and do some light filing. When these nails grow out, they kind of lose their shape. So I'm just lightly getting them back in shape. So after all of the prep and shaping, I'm going to be applying Mia Secret Covered Natural Acrylic. And this color is really pretty. It does have some shimmer to it. And to apply the acrylic, I'm using my very own Long Care Pretty Nails and Poochie's Nails number no. eight Kalinsky brush. I am super excited about this collab that I did with Poochie's Nails. You guys know that I have been such a fan of hers for so long and I was just over the moon when this opportunity for us to the collab came up so yes I have my very own acrylic brush and if you guys know I love the number eight brush because that is the size of brush that I learned to do acrylic with I just feel like this is the perfect brush for people just starting off or for those of you who just like to use smaller brushes like me so when you first get your brush it will have film in it and just run your fingers through to get all that out so if you guys are interested, this is available on my website, longcareprettynails.com, and also on Poochie's website, thenailartboutique.com. I'll leave those links down below. So next I put some monomer into my dampen dish and I'm using the Meraki monomer. And to break in my brush, I'm just gonna dip that into the monomer. Slowly twirl it on the paper towel to kind of get it into the shape that I want. And it gets into shape easily and I'm ready to use it to apply my acrylic. 
so I'm just gonna go ahead and get my area situated and I get cautious about this diamond this is the Nelfi diamond and stand that I use to do my nails on available on my website as well I'll leave that link down below so next I'm applying the Kiara Sky nail prep and I'm applying that to my whole nail my skin is pretty greasy so I just want to get rid of all the oils and yes, the thumb is gonna get some love on this video. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with the primer and I'm just gonna apply that to my natural nail. And I'm just gonna go in with my first bead of acrylic. And I left this in real time, real speed, so you guys can see how slow I actually work. <laughs> I normally speed my videos up to about one and a half to two times speed. So that is how I get through them kind of quickly. But I wanted you guys to see that working with smaller brushes kind of help you have more control over the product. You're able to pat it in place and get it just how you want it. I just wanted you guys to see how I work in real time. I take my time. I do a lot of smoothing and patting and that is how I'm able to get that perfect shape. So I've been doing my own nails for a long time. I'm self-taught. I experiment with a lot of products and brush sizes and stuff, but I always seem to find myself coming back to the size eight. I just feel like I do my best work with it and it's really easy to work with. So for the thumb, I decided to zoom out a bit so you guys can see how I dip into the monomer and wipe my brush and how often I do that. This is how I keep my brush clean while I'm doing my application. You don't want your brush to get clogged up with product because then, you know, everything will stick to it. So just make sure to wipe off your brush often so you don't get any product stuck in it. So this is after all of the acrylic is laid and dry. And this is what my brush looks like after all of that. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I clean it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of fresh monomer into my dampen dish and swish my brush around, trying to get all of the product out of it. And then I wipe it on my paper towel. In this case, I got a clean one just so I can have more room on it and I fold over the paper towel and kind of pull the bristles through just to make sure I'm getting all of that product out of it. I definitely don't want it to dry inside of the brush. So after I'm sure all the product is out, I just dip my brush back into the monomer and then twirl my brush on the paper towel to get it back in shape. 
And once I have that nice point the way that I like, I'm gonna go ahead and carefully put the top back on the brush. And you wanna store this down. As you guys can see, it does have a hole in the cap for drainage purposes. So making sure you store this facing down. All right, so after all of that, I'm gonna go back in with my nail file and do my filing and shaping. As you guys know, I like doing most of my filing and shaping with the hand file, and I start off on the 100 grit side. I flip it over to the 180 side, and I file the nail as well. So after doing all of the filing and shaping, I'm going in with the medium grit safety bit, and I'm gonna work that around my cuticle areas. I like finishing off the cuticles with this drill bit because it just seals everything in and makes those cuticles look like this acrylic is growing from my fingers. <laughs> so I am left-handed, so that's why it may look like I'm holding this drill a little weird, but you know, I kind of just do what works. <laughs> so this is after doing all of the cuticle work. And then finally, I'm gonna use my buffer to buff the surface of each nail. And this just gets out all of the scratches left over from the nail file and nail drill. So this is the nails after I have filed, shaped, and buffed, and I am loving this cute shape. So I was inspired by this swirly nail design that I've been seeing all over Instagram, so. I wanted to try it out, but make it green. So I'm gonna use these gel polishes and put them on my mixing plate. I needed a cream color, so that is what I'm making here. And for the nail art brushes, I kind of just use various ones. This is my first time trying out a design like this, so I don't know which brush is best, but we about to see. So I start off with that dark green color and I'm using this short nail art brush. I found that this one worked the best for me so that is the one that I used. And I just use a gel brush dipped in alcohol to do any cleanup. Once I have that first color down, I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that in the nail lamp. And I just move on to the next color. and I care after each color. So I went in again with that dark green and after I applied it, I didn't like that, so I wiped it off. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna go in with that mint green and I like how this looks so much better. So I went ahead and cured that and then I moved on to the next nail. This design is very abstract, so there's no rhyme or reason or right or wrong way to do it. So I'm just kind of going with the flow, applying the colors how I think I want them to be. <laughs> So this is after doing all of the swirly nail designs. And of course you guys know I have to add some bling. So I'm going in with the Poochie Snails Bling Gel and Top Coat. First I apply the bling gel all over the nail. And then without curing, I'm applying Top Coat on top. And I'm just gonna go in with these emerald crystals. They're available on my website. I will leave the link down below. I mistakenly put them on the wrong side. So I just went ahead and slid them over to where I wanted them to be. And that's what I love about gel. I can just move these crystals all around and I have all the time in the world. And I just cure them when I'm satisfied where they are. So after putting some crystals on the index finger and curing, I went ahead and applied top coat to the rest of the nails. and do my final cure in my nail lamp for 60 seconds. After that, I'm applying cuticle oil. And here is the finished look. These nails turned out so cute. I love the shades of green. I think the swirls just look so yummy, so, so cute. 
And yes, I had to get out my green Ivy Park drip because these nails went so good with that. <laughs> If you guys are interested in the products that I use in this video, particularly my brush, head over to my website, longcareprettynails.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial and I will talk to you in the next one. This is the outro to the Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah.